Boris Johnson has lowered the flags above No. 10 to half-mast to pay tribute to Captain Sir Tom Moore following his death. The Prime Minister hailed the war veteran a hero as he paid tribute to the 100-year-old who passed away in hospital after testing positive with coronavirus following a battle with pneumonia. Captain Tom became a figure of inspiration across the world last spring when he raised money for the NHS during the first coronavirus lockdown. In a statement, Mr. Johnson said, Captain Sir Tom Moore was a hero in the truest sense of the word. In the dark days of the Second World War he fought for freedom and in the face of this country's deepest post-war crisis he united us all, he cheered us all up, and he embodied the triumph of the human spirit. It is quite astonishing that at the age of 100 he raised more than £32 million for the NHS, and so gave countless others their own chance to thank the extraordinary men and women who have protected us through the pandemic. He became not just a national inspiration but a beacon of hope for the world. Our thoughts are with his daughter Hannah and all his family. The Prime Minister spoke to Captain Tom's daughter on the phone this afternoon to personally pass on his condolences and to offer any support he could to the family. Last April the Yorkshireman raised millions of pounds for the NHS after walking over 100 laps of his garden ahead of his 100th birthday. His fundraising efforts struck a chord with the nation and he was honoured with a knighthood by the Queen last summer. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer also paid tribute to Captain Tom. He wrote on Twitter, This is incredibly sad news. Captain Tom Moore put others first at a time of national crisis and was a beacon of hope for millions. Britain has lost a hero. Chancellor Rishi Sunak, who represents the constituency of Richmond in Yorkshire, said, A proud Yorkshire man. A dedicated army officer. A tireless fundraiser. And above all, an inspiration to us all. Rest in peace Captain Tom, announcing his death, Captain Tom's daughter said in a statement, We are so grateful that we were with him during the last hours of his life, Hannah, Benji and Georgia by his bedside and Lucy on FaceTime. We spent hours chatting to him, reminiscing about our childhood and our wonderful mother. We shared laughter and tears together. The last year of our father's life was nothing short of remarkable. He was rejuvenated and experienced things had only ever dreamed of. Whilst had been in so many hearts for just a short time, he was an incredible father and grandfather, and he will stay alive in our hearts forever.